titillating Tuesday. Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh? Welcome to titillating Tuesday, 7th December 2021. Uh, today I'm feeling like that, <laughs> and my mind's like that. <laughs> But um, it's like that, one. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of joke today because I keep myself amused. You have to. Um, um, I follow the news, what's relevant. Um, everything is news. People vlog nowadays. So people's personal story and experience, their take on life, that is news. Yeah, the news at ground level is the news. Uh, that people have about their own lives <laughs> so <laughs> I've been watching the news not mainstream news I watch some mainstream news um, when I see people who have been affected by um, things that I deduce will be in the mainstream news um, so I like that kind of news that comes from the people so you guys um, will tell us what's going on you know uh, but remember we're on their platforms and all they could do is just make the switch um, turn on to off <laughs> and <laughs> all that is gone but um, I had a similar problem because um, I run my own um, kind of uh, web presence and um, I was affected by uh, a down event a shutdown event uh, I got it sorted out but it just goes to show when I was sorting it out um, I kind of realised that um, um, you know um, things can be going on and if you're not clued up about what's relevant new news then um, you might find yourself being triggered to think delusional things but it's interesting because when my uh, web presence got shut down it was only for two days I didn't even notice I should use my own um, web website a bit more often <laughs> um, I started obviously going into one of those rants that are not really real to life but I arrived at a conclusion and when I was checking the programming uh, and adjusting it the conclusion I had reached, reached was the right one so I derived my delusions from what's going on a different take on life if you like yeah so I've been saying it through all my videos um, you can look back in the ones in the past um, the way I believe what existence is is kind of in line with what the quantum physicists have um, you have a wave particle duality and there are circumstances where if you had an observer who was so uh, tall yeah that um, and big that um, his length scale will be like let's say a million times ours where we're as small as photons <laughs> then I'm sure he would see us uh, being in many places at the same time <laughs> or he needs an observer at the right length scale or fractal levels <laughs> I've always said that when you see something in one place it's not always there quantum physicists can confirm that um, because 90% of it will be there but there's a small percentage that's everywhere else and those thinly spread out so everything you see is in the u the universe everywhere else in the universe at the same time yeah so it's like that so that's how come um, it just makes you think like what I was thinking um, if the material we're made of the body and the atoms that comes from that are from dead stars because we've got iron in it and the sun don't make iron they make hydrogen and helium so that iron must have come from a star that already reached the iron stage and blew up so <laughs> it was in the nebula that created the sun but it never came from the sun the earth and most of the material in the core of it couldn't have come from the sun because the sun don't make don't make nickel and iron it makes hydrogen and helium so who made the nickel and iron that's in the earth in the ancient times they have theories about what's in the earth and who put it there and how it's not ours and it belongs to some alien race but <laughs> we won't go into that um that's just um documentaries i like watching anyway um so where was i <laughs> about the material in us so what did star produce the iron that i have is it the same one that produced your one so <laughs> Uh, everyone and if you look at entanglement so if the atoms I have were once in a star that's gone so my atoms was in that location at one time so and then they separated and now they're in me 
there's other atoms who was at that location that's all over the universe so i can resonate anywhere in the universe if i think hard <laughs> anyway enough of that today we have a new joke um let me tell you what it is now <laughs> what do you call a christening ceremony that uses beer a baptism <laughs> you know the, yeah man them ones those are the ones I'm looking for, you know. <laughs> it makes you laugh when there's nothing to laugh about. Um, so, <laughs> just changing the subject. So, I've been going through things philosophically because, like, what's happening and what's to come. Um, from If you look at all the new news that's around from the horse's mouth, the people who are actually seeing up, um, then you can try to deduce from that what's coming up. It's like looking at data and seeing an elephant in the room it's a bit like that and then you can deduce what's going to come after that um so i've been doing a lot of that <laughs> and uh some of the things i see um are nothing to joke about <laughs> um there's been a change uh the other attack i was talking about um which is a disruption of my thinking process that has subsided um otherwise uh, I was gonna say something else that's gonna come uh, and we just keep coming until I stop with them ones <laughs> but they stop now I think uh, they've subsided but they've gone to a lower setting yeah so it's a matter of just going through and the pains that come um, I'm not sure what that means yeah the pains um, that would manifest in the man of God's um, mind or body I don't know what that comes out as on the higher fractal on the collective body um so just keep an eye out for that um and the concept of pain that i've been explaining through my videos um might be helpful to you that pain is just something that you imagine yeah so if you never imagined that it wouldn't be there but it could be indicative of something that's going on so you have to bear everything in mind yeah uh, meditate uh, and the natural order must be preserved yeah um, so and, um, that's what I'm trying to bring about um, the Almighty's will on earth um, so <laughs> the Almighty said no one should dominate your mind and you must make sure of that do anything everything you can so I'm doing that um, and um, in terms of those predictions I don't want to make one now I'll think about it first um, because I have to remember because I've gone through all this before and that's what led us to this point but I have to remember what the latest developments lead to and uh, I'll see if I can make a prediction after that this is titillating Tuesday the 7th of December 2021 and I'm out titillating Tuesday Tuesday does it make you laugh does it make you